Aquatil is using ultra high water pressure in a jet form to cut through cane trash. So what we're looking at is a PTO driven pump that pushes that pressure through a tiny little orifice, through a nozzle of about 0.2 of a mil. Um, as cane trash has a high density and if you don't have the ideal conditions, coulters are a real challenge in managing the trash. Um, this can lead to problems with placements of products um, and tillage of it, etc, etc. I think it uh, looks to be a great implement that um, has potential for us placing uh, chemicals, fertilisers under the thrash in all conditions, whether it be wet, dry, uh, even if you had um, sticky clays, you could potentially put it under the thrash at good speed uh, at any time and um, huge savings in um, potential runoff and things like that. So I really think it's uh, got somewhere we can go with it, sure. Um, my issue with um, with our soil type is it's um, a lot of sandy soil in particular, and you know we don't want to cultivate any more than than we have to. to. So there's a number of things that I'm keen not to do, and that's to use a rotary hoe to get rid of the cane stool, and I I really don't want to um, cultivate the soil at all between crops if we can. And we want to grow peanuts in between uh, the cane crops, and. Um, Previously we've tried to plant peanuts into the trash blanket and conceptually it can work but we have to have a good way of cutting through the trash to make sure we can separate the trash so we get good soil to seed contact. I see that Aquatil has a, um, a lot of possibilities in that space in particular but also in other, other uh, processes like um, fertilising and also using uh, confidor or something like that into the soil. Um, and on the machine itself, we've got an additional pump for product placement. So on this, what we're thinking of is that if we can place the product at 100 mils into the soil surface, it should lock it in. And this would address um, the, the issues with movement of product um, into, the, into the profile. When we're planting peanuts, it, it's a time of year where you can get some heavy storms and that. So if we don't have to cultivate the soil and we can plant into a trash blanket, there's really going to be virtually no, um, no um, sediment runoff from the, when we were planting the, the, the peanuts.